What's up, Gary and team? Hadi Yusuf here. Off of your inspiration, I started vlogging my startup journey. I've been interacting with online communities like the Great Vayner Nation and just making sure that I'm putting out good content. But aside from patience and thinking about the long game, what are some things that someone like me should be doing to grow his audience? Thanks a lot. So I think one thing that stands out for me and then you'll jump in, Jason, is I think more real life stuff like every meetup, sure. like, like Jason, you might remember this, when I first got, I mean, it's really fun to get your perspective on this, when I first came into the ecosystem, yeah. I was pouring wine at a Jaiku Leo Laporte meetup. Yeah, you were I, the wine guy. Yeah, I mean, I was, you were like, I was, that guy? I was You're service, I was the help. Basically, I mean, I didn't want to say it, but it's kind of true. And so, and so like. They're you, like, we need wine here. And, me, and, meanwhile, and meanwhile, I had the biggest business in the room. For Everybody sure. else had, business on paper. Yeah. I actually had a business, but I was willing to earn my keep into the ecosystem. That's the advice I would give here, which is, if you're documenting your journey, amazing, but go to every, I mean, Israel's such a hotbed for tech startups and just startups in general. Go to every meetup, meet every person, be part of the ecosystem. I think you did that extremely well. That's right. I, when I started Silicon Alley Reporter here, I wore a Silicon Alley Reporter shirt every day. I had 20 of them, so I was the brand, and I would show up at every party, and I'd have copies of the magazine. You have to be the brand and you have to be everywhere. But a little hack for him might be, um, be the most intelligent question under the most important people's blog posts or their tweets. In other words, really take your time. Forget about building your own content and your own audience. Find somebody who's got an audience that you would like to acquire and be the most intelligent person in their Love ecosystem that. for a while. Which is kind of what you did. Like, you'd meet the guy and you'd be like, oh, this guy's passionate wine, but I'm here to see Leo, but this guy's also kind of interesting too, right? And so if you can put yourself in Fred Wilson's comments on AVC, it's like, who are these people? You right? know what's these a really, highly this, intelligent is, this is really smart, especially in the Facebook ecosystem where if it's actually that, it populates up. Yeah, they trend it up. The best comment goes up. But this takes time and you have to not be thinking about yourself with your comment. That's the problem. I think people are trying to build a brand so they think it's They're pitching them. instead yeah. of bringing value to the community of the micro community within that blog post. Correct. Yep. What is the topic we're talking yep. about? And how do you say something highly intelligent and, and to your, and further the conversation? And to you, because you don't come from 20 years of experience, 30 years of experience, you need to put your lens on it. By the way, there's a lot more people reading comments on those blogs that are just like you, entrepreneurs are trying to make it, yeah. than us reading it. Where and so, so you saying, here's my perspective from an Israeli-led startup that from a 23-year-old's perspective, yeah. you'll get a lot of juice from that. You need to own it. There's way too many true people trying to fake the funk right now mm. that they're so genius business people and they have no experience under their fingernails. There's nothing more, like I think, appealing than somebody who's a young entrepreneur saying, I really don't understand how this works. Can somebody explain it to me or help me because I really would like to be successful. People will come out and help you. 100%. I if you deploy the humility and don't fake it. Yeah, there's no reason to fake it. Like go on to Well, everybody and does that. And by the way, I've been there. Like yeah. like when you don't when you're not there yet, you kind of want to you want to I used to say yes and this and it was just not smart. I should have said please tell me in this I would have got there faster. In my meetings, anytime a word comes up that I don't know, I said, what does that mean? In a business meeting? I, and I wouldn't even have meetings then because I'm terrible at like vocab. Yeah, but when you have and a like, pitch and then somebody's <laughs> like, oh, do you know about this? And I'm like, what is that? And I just say, explain to me what that is. And they're like, oh, it's an acronym for this. And now I'm like, okay, now I'm getting smarter. Yeah, 100%. Right?